Hi guys, <clears throat> it's Candace. Welcome back to Draw Me Crazy. Okay, the final flip through is here for this special scrap challenge journal number four <laughs> requested by Jamie. So now I will let you decide how you want your tie. Do you want it just wrapped? I know not this one because I've been pulling on it, but anyway, it's it's old and I have good ones. But do you want, you know, a couple of twirls of this? Or do you want the holes put in there? Let me know. I will let you make that decision. I know. So, well, here is the top. So you can, um, you know, glue whatever name you want to put in there. I know I thought like, I don't know, secret, wink, wink garden or whatever so i know i still i don't know i still might put something else on here but here's the spine where's my okay oh how did i bend that there's no telling well anyway okay so here's the spine it has this fabric underneath the bottom then it's got double lace. It's got this lace and then that lace on top of it. I was trying not to go, you know, I didn't want to invade all the way over here because I like the little bird and stuff. So, but, oh, I love how this, and then I sewed it on um, and then put some embroidery thread on there just, you know, to give it some eyelash whiskers. Now. The surprise, like I said, whenever I do regular journals, I always put surprise in here. So there's going to be surprise on the front and the back pockets. So you have to wait till you get it to see your surprise. Because I like to have surprises. Okay. So here's this little pocket, which is, you know, book page scrap. This scrap, I mean, literally, it's all scrap. All laying around in this pile of stuff. And then I collaged this with some of the um, Junk Journal Studios ephemera. And then just collaged a little on the back just for writing to give us some extra. Plus, I'm using up the scraps. And then put him in here. I oh, know. Made a little tabby on, on this pocket. And then this, you know, music paper. This is the All Things Roses. That's, like I said, laying around over the side. And then this is just a little tag with some pretty gold on there that I thought would go pretty in there. And then back here, I know this one's just a hot mess. So I have this. I just loved the colors, tied it in to there. And then journal spot here, tuck spot there. Here's a little secret spot um, that you can tuck whatever. And then this little journal card, I love the color, so I just collaged a little bit on there. He tucks in there, so that's that. Then this, make sure that I'm, I didn't move. No, I'm good. Okay, so this is, I can't go any any further down than number four. Okay, so then this, I sewed in some some um, flips of some papers that you can write on. Put some of your favorite stickers or make some more pockets. I mean, all kinds of good stuff. Then this is just a little tuck spot from some ephemera. Then this one, a little journal card with our paper pad play that we had. And then this is one of our calendar inserts. Now, this one is a pullout. And you have all these little pockets to put things Oh, I just put this scrap of paper in here. I thought it was pretty. I love the celery green. So, I don't know. Did I? Yeah, it is inked. Okay, we'll just do a little more. And I just put this little butterfly on top of here. And then, hello, let go. And then put this little tab here in case you want to flip it this way. If you didn't like that. So, you can flip it. And then pull it. And then, this is still... A big tuck spot back here that you can tuck behind. <clears throat> so, I know it goes all the way. Can you see? Okay. 
I know it is full of full of room, full of stuff. And I'm trying to find here. I guess I'll just use I don't we'll use this plain Jane. So this is a large belly band. I know just some I just you know thought the colors went together. Pulled in this. Okay, then this is just some journaling, a little flip. Double flip. Put some washi back on the bottom, just, you know, so it wasn't so plain Jane. Got a naked pocket. I know. What can I say? And then here, um, this is one of my um, smooshing, stamp off, hodgepodge, just fun index cards. And then I put some fabric scraps and a wooden button on here because it pulled in this one, her color. Then this has a tuck spot there, tuck spot there. Then we have this little card that goes in here. And then hidden in there. I know. It's just full of hiddens. Da da. Big hidden. Oh. Okay. No. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> you might have to watch this pack to find the holes. So, there's a pocket here. I know I'm wondering if I should put a thumbnail on there, but I didn't want to, you know, take away from my flower. So, and then this is just a little scrap collage to go in there and like i said this is the spot here and then this goes back and you have a pocket back here dun dun and then this here i love the little the little lightning bugs fireflies oh, we have them all out right now it's that time of year and then it just pulled in with that paper over there so i thought that was cute and that flips flips back in and then we have this one that I just, you know, add a little tab with some scraps and stuff and just a little corner tuck. And then, just the, oh, I know. I had fun. I have to tell you, I had fun using this. Oh, I don't know if you can see this little bitty flower on here. And then this one. And it's a, a little tuck spot. And then I used a little dragonfly circle just for a little little looky-loo looky over here. So you can tuck it underneath there or you can tuck it on top. But I'm putting it behind there. I just thought it was cute. Okay. So that's a data one. You know, put some washies for, to make it look like a hinge. Because I just, you know, it needed something in the hole. In the, in, in the crevice. In the crack. And then we did this one. It's a pocket in here. And then I just used some scrap papers. And it's got, it's a double, double pocket. And then this, I know this is itty bitty. Uh-oh. I don't even have, okay, here we go. But you can put something here and something in there. I know, that's, that's a good little pocket. So, and it's the length of here. So that's some really good hidden stuff. And then this is our little flap. And then we have a little pocket there. Oh, I know. This just looks so inviting. Like you want to just be laying on a blanket. I don't know. Drinking your favorite drink. Looking at the sky. Not a bug around except a few butterflies. <laughs> I use some of my favorite washi spots tape. I know I love that stuff. I love those colors. And then a little coffee dyed um, checkbook register. And then here was just a well, I know I need a, a better card. This is just a little funky belly band. A little tuck spot here. And then back here just had some scrap that I thought, you know, these colors pulled in here. Made this little journaling card out of that. I know. 
Blackstead. I think it's going to be fun. I think Jamie's going to like it. And I love, oh gosh, I love that, that paper. And then another big old pocket here. And then here, this is just some ephemera that um, it had something on there. I don't know what, but I didn't like it. So I just put a butterfly on there and then put this little journaling card underneath there. Just tucked it under. And then this one. Little tux box. I still wanted you to see, see her reflection. And then some little washi in there. And then this is a a large pocket here on the side and then this is just for you to play with too you know lots of empties then this is oh it's just a one pocket I'm bad just a one pocket and then here just a, a large side tuck and you flip it got some journal and spot Another collage hinge, just scrap hinge. It's not really that collage, but I guess technically more than two pieces of paper is technically a collage, huh? Oh, no, wink, wink. I don't know. Little journaling stuff. Our little truck. I know he's so pretty. Went went so good in here. And then this is a pocket. And then here we have this paper, notepad paper. And then here, I just put some of the blue dots on here to go with, you know, pull out the color. And then this is one of those little tabs that we made. And then just some other label. It's like, who's in there? Here, I put a vellum pocket on here because I didn't want to lose the, you know, pretty paper. I know. Anyway. Mm hmm. And then here. It's going to be, it's a double pocket for you. And then you can, you know, stencil or put something else. I mean, just there's so much you can do. I know I did leave a lot of extra things. And I think, you know what? Maybe I'll put a paint chip in here just because there's purple. I know I bent that. Sorry. Because there's purple right there. So, you know, that'll pull that in. This is a flip up with a little hidden pocket underneath there. And then this flip out, this flips out. It's a pocket in here too. And then this is a tuck spot. And then this flips out for writing space or you can always put you know add some more paper onto it make a little pockets on there okay and then this is the other part of it and it just a little side tuck pocket and then here this is some vellum that was a vellum belly band from something some washi a piece of ephemera um, I just put this little stamp on here to make that little journal card it does go in the hole and then this is that um, handmade paper that we put one of our little collage scrap tabs on all right dun, 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 dun. and then here I use the other little truck just you know another little tab we made and then just some other and then this one is just a large notepad paper another one of the pockets side tuck oh, I know this is the um, fontic design Bon Bontic Vintage Design. Sorry, Anton. But I just love the colors. It just goes, everything just fell in here. Now, you know, I could have glued it on to make it a tuck, but I didn't, you know. So, well, I'm bad. And then I put this little pocket on here just to kind of strengthen up our little notepad paper. And then here, I left him naked. Naked for deco. 
And then this, I know, look at the little taggy. It goes so good with the rose gold ephemera. And then back here, I just made a little belly band and put a little scrap of paper for little notes. Oh, it just goes with that book page so good. And then that's a, another large pocket from the book page. And then another pocket. Oh, no, I'm yawning. Sorry. This is a flip. And then a pocket. Oh, and then this. I know, like I said, this was a night crafting thing. So I pulled in a yellow tulip because, you know, it had all this yellow and stuff on there. And then used, um, I had a piece of ephemera I put there. And then this is just a, um, some labels from the Junk Journal Studio. And then this is a scrap from our Bow Bunny paper. And so I just made that a little belly band for this to go in. Do I have it the right way? Was it the other way? Oh, yeah, it was this way. I think. I don't remember. Shoot. Anyway. Put it however you want, Jamie. And then this goes in here. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. All right. And then you flip it. And then we just have um, another piece of the ephemera. And then another one of the little um, ephemera pieces that I, I put down for a corner tuck. And then just this little scrap tag. And then here, I know I did this one by myself. So this is just ephemera. So, but it's a tuck spot and it just has a lot of, you know, hot messes on there. So, and then this is, was a, you know, a journal card like that, but I folded it over, used some more of that um, vellum belly band and then sewed some little papers in just to make it another little writing spot with a little hidden pocket back there. And then, oh, I didn't ink. Let me go ahead and ink because you know, it looks a little naked back there. Because I didn't know if I was going to glue it to somebody else or, or what I was going to do with it. So, but, so he goes in here. And I know I really like how this little page turned out. I like them all. What can I say? And then this is our um, project flyer from Hobby Lobby that I did the um, little piece of Bow Bunny card. And then left, you know, just cut that off so it can be a tab to put that in there. And then this flips out. And it has a pocket there. And then writing spots there. Flip it. You've got a vellum pocket that we used with some washi and other scraps. And then this is just a note card that I thought these colors went really pretty together. So, da da so pretty. And then we did our original hinge, whatever that is, tip in hinge. <laughs> whatever. And then I came in and sewed it with some dusty rose or wild. I don't even know what it's what kind of embroidery for this is. And then just put some little scraps with some little mini attachers on there just to kind of pull in some of the little pinkies over here and the yellows over there so that was that oh um, anyway mm -hmm. then we have this this uh the little double book page that we did got some sweet little note paper that all these colors just i mean tied together like I said, I must really, when I buy stuff and see things, I must have this internal color palette because a lot of a lot of stuff just goes together because they go together. And this is another pocket, and I put this smush envelope on here, and then this is actually a little tuck spot here. Then. I know, let me see if I can get this moved around. Then it flips up, and there's a tuck spot there. 
and then we might be flapping our arms singing our little song and then you got journal spot here and there's a oops a tuck spot here a tuck spot there and a tuck spot there so I know by the time you fill it up it's gonna be I mean the thing won't even be able to close by the time I know that's the problem but and I didn't want to decorate this because I like the, how the colors came out. So that's why it's kind of naked. But, and you know, this is actually some Christmas scrap that I had. But all the colors just, oh, I know, just went together. Then this is our little tip-in page that we did with a vellum hinge and um, a calendar. And then we did this belly band with um, some vellum. Then this we put our um, another one of our little scrap hinges on top, and then this is just a little up tuck with a note card that goes in here for a butterfly. And then this one he pulls out. All right, this is <coughs> sorry. This is a tuck spot. <laughs> it comes out. We have a pocket here with this sweet little scrap tag I made. And then this flips. We have this little tuck spot. Then this is a pocket here. And a pocket there. I know it is full of fun fun surprises so then it turns we have another large pocket I know I'm trying not to sleep because I know it's like five o'clock now but man and then this is just a label that I put on as a little pocket then this was some scrap postcard that I that we had and this is another piece of that notepad and then this is some other scrap that I just you know decorated put a little B on there and a little scrap tab and this is a flip and it has a little pocket and I just put one of my smooshy off stamp cards in there because I thought the colors went with it. It was pretty. And then this is another flip up pull out that has a tuck spot back there. Lots of journaling spots. And then lots of pockets. And then we flip it and then this is a little tuck spot back here has got another little tuck spot little corner tuck and then here is well remember we made these envelopes because they were supposed to be used for something else <laughs> one must measure the envelope that they're going to mail them in to make sure they fit so well jamie got an extra <laughs> because oops anyway so my little coin envelope you got a envelope here a little tuck spot here with um a label and then i just collaged that on there this flips out and then i smushed on here put another little collage hinge and i know i think it's pretty and then this is the back and like i said There'll be a few more things in here, but I didn't want, I didn't want it all to be, and I think I am going to have to put these cream, those, that on, on here. So, I just didn't want to show you everything, because I like, I like when people get their journals that they get extra surprise. So this, if I kind of hold it, not smush it, but hold it gently it's about one and three quarters and if i smush it it's one and a half so yes yeah, she's 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 fatty and 
Jimmy going to feed her some more. But, oh my gosh, I love her. Okay, so, Jamie, let me know how you want your, your tie. Um, if you want it, you know, uh, to go around. Like I said, I'll probably make it go around. This is one, two, three times and tie if you just want it a tie. And then, um, or if you want... eyelets let me know i'll put eyelets in and they will tie it will tie on the side so i don't know i'm i am going to leave that one up to you i'm kind of liking this i know and like i said it will it will go a wrap another time and then have so that way you've got room you know but and it won't be this one because like i said this one has been used and abused and, and rolled over and, and pulled on and tore on and, and all that good stuff. But, you know, anyway. Oh, but I guess I can at least. Oh, and you know, I don't know. Let's count. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so twenty ish. 20 plus pages so that's 20 40 80 all together i know in one signature that's because i don't know how to i can't make little ones well i can but when i get in there and i get excited and start you know oh, i can't stop that's my problem that's why it takes me so long you know a week to make a stinking journal and that's you know quite a few eight ten hours a day so anyway well i hope y'all enjoyed this flip through and so now we'll be on the next one so i will see y'all on the next video thanks for watching thanks for sharing some of your time with me thanks for sharing some of your day with me thanks for um playing with me in this this scrap journal and like i said i got one, two, I got four more over here that are just like ready for us to to do. But they're not gonna be this this elaborate. Nope. They're gonna be kind of like the other ones. So I'm gonna try. So I will see y'all in the next video. Lots of kisses, lots of love. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. I know. There's gonna be something on here too. Well, I can't tell you everything. Alright, bye.